outside of this. I thought we had to fight them here, though. Whatever. My... I guess my... It's been so long since I did my test play. Because remember, it's been three months since I posted a video. So my memory is a little hazy on some of the... Some of the new... The moment-to-moment uh, mm, -moment stuff. So basically what's going on here uh, is that there are um, uh, north, east. Hmm. I could have swore there was a mini metal back here. Is it this one? There we go. How you would ever find that, I have no idea. That is a missable mini metal too, I think. Well, maybe not. Um, yeah, I think it actually is missable. I don't think you can come back to these areas once you're done with the scenario. So basically what's going on is the uh, the soulless bodies are being used to house uh, demons. You can buy a Lucida Shard there if you want it. I don't particularly care. Uh, do you have some herbs? I could probably use some herbs. Yeah. I'm going to buy like nine at the time. Thank you. No, that should do it. Thank you. Just stock up on a few more herbs. Uh, one of the <laughs> one of the the puns, like the prevalent puns of Dragon Quest, is the master of. All Trades Abbey is almost always uh, some form of Jack. So in this version, of course, it's uh, it's a female, so she's Jack Boy. Right there, fingers. <laughs> and and give him a good shake. Yeah. Like, they make reference to, like, the fact that, like, the sprite is just... He's got, like, a kind of a goofy smile on his face.
I mean, we're stuck here until this gets resolved, so... Yeah, there's not much, uh, not many good items here. Uh, don't worry, I'm pretty sure Zev will show up. First thing we want to do is go over here and talk to this NPC. And then we want to go... Come over here and you talk to these two and they will join your party as guests, although only used to shows up, which is good because Fingers is not as good. So it's not related to Dragon Quest, but uh, I mentioned before that one of the games I'm preparing next to do is SMT3 Nocturne, and they did announce the uh, HD remaster ports to Switch and PS4. And I have both of those consoles, and I'm kind of leaning towards getting it on Switch, believe it or not. It's pretty obvious which way goes which, if I recall correctly. But we do want to finish looting the place. Oh, we're good. Thank you. Uh, sure, we'll stay the night. I guess I wasted those herbs then. I was thinking that, uh, the boss was there. I forgot about the scene where, you know... But that's okay. Everything is A-OK. -okay. We want to go in here first, though, because this is a scarewell! And there's some items down here once we kill the Scarewell. But you want to grab uh, Eustace first, since he can help in this battle a little bit. Uh, we want to put the saw blade on. Um, I could look up their stats. I'm not going to bother like looking them up in the best area I think we're just gonna attack heal with the stone we got a free in right there it's not a big deal rough is now level 12 that's good he's probably gonna be 14 or 15 by the end of the scenario What is Snap, I wonder? Like, I've never heard of that. Maybe a card game of some kind? But we're gonna take the time. We're gonna just 
Use the soft uh, mattress and fluffy pillows to take a rest, since it's free. And we're going to head on out to the cave. And again, there are... The cave does split. Uh, let's see. Uh, that side goes to the abbey, and this side, that's the wrong thing. This side goes to the dungeon, so. Mm. Let's put the boomerangs back on. Let's put this, uh... Put this Zeppelin to sleep if I can, yeah. And that'll let us finish that off pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these enemies are just so big you can't get around them. Snooze stick on the Forky Pig and... Because he's the one that's going to try to breathe on me. I'm not as worried about Woosh. Because while Oster takes some damage, the other two have their armor, which can, you know, as you saw. I'm really only worried about... Uh, the, the, the biggest worry in terms of random battles when it comes to just damage taken, it's always going to be, like, big multi-target... Uh, or multi-target attacks or like singular big hits like the 45 damage the 40 damage from the armored scorpion is pretty scary but the uh ooh that was a good crit but like or the the breath but the whoosh from this guy is not scary because I have that armor because it, it's really only going to hit the one tar party member for any noticeable damage I swear to God, all of the models in this game are way too big. Just way too freaking big. And the... They're too big and the... Uh, or the... The halls are too narrow. I think I read somewhere... Um, that they designed the first half of this game before they decided to add, like, the on-field monsters. So that's... Let me... Hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. There's chest there. Okay. And then we're done in here. Now we want to go to the... These stairs? I do believe. Yeah. Because those other stairs led to the same. And we've got three options. We want to go to the middle one first. So I got to, I was just thinking about it, and uh, you know how I said maybe you couldn't get back to this, but you have to be able to get back to this place because of the fact that there is a tablet piece here. Uh, well, in the uh, in the town there. So, that probably means you can get here as well. Um, no, we want to go this way. 
Want to avoid those guys, they breathe fire. Spiny mines. I don't think the mines are that big a deal, if I remember correctly. I think they can blow up, but I don't think they're that big a deal. They do have a lot of defense, though. Alright. Uh, let's try... We've got good hit points. Let's try using the that on them. So the spiny mines have no resistance to confusion and level two resistance to sleep. So you want to use the Lucida shard if you want to. Yeah, there was no way I was getting past that Chimera. I think... Oh, you know what? I passed the... Yeah, these guys are... Probably the most dangerous enemy down here. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I need to go back, because I... <sighs> Crap. Uh, let's use the snooze stick on this Chimera. And he is an effect. The Chimera does have some resistance to sleep, but not like a whole lot. So, like, it's level one resistance. So, it's. Sleep works fine. It's just. I got unlucky there. But. Unfortunately, I misread my directions, and so now we gotta go backtrack. Uh. Oh. <laughs> so, it won't even let you do that? That's dumb. Those guys can't move. They, they're they stuck in place. But they're, you know, really big, so... This is the one that... Because there's a chest back here with a mini metal, and that's what I wanted to get. And now I want to go the way that we were. New stick on the Chimera. I wish you put Breathing Fire on. Well, Breathing Fire is not that bad. It, it, the physical attack is much, much worse, in all honesty. Let's just use. Well, didn't get it off, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's a dead end. Alright, now we want to go this way. And run into that monster as it pops up, of course. Take this time to heal up. I might have been able to kill the monsters like both of them if I had used my whip but it's fine I think as long as they don't use I would come out ahead there no matter what oh come on no matter what the monster used and he only did one point of damage we're gonna see now but yeah I think I think the three attacks is enough to if I don't miss 
yeah, it, the three attacks would have been enough. Ruff has less attack power, and it killed him, so... Ergo. I like the pips. They're one of my favorite, uh, like, monster designs in this game. Uh... Because they're, they're they're made to look like the little just the various classes from the previous Dragon Quest games. 